Who was Molech? The, ch the mothers of Israel would put Molech into the arms of this big dumb idol with a big belly open and the flame would be inside the belly and they would sing praises to the Lord as the, belly, as the child rolled down the arms of Molech into the fiery furnace of his stomach. So the Elohim of Molech is alive in the abortion clinic and the abortion mills of this nation. Dr. Billy Graham said that if Yahweh doesn't judge America, he's going to have to apologize to Saddam and Amara. Okay, that's murder. And those of you who have, who have, who have, who have um, committed abortions, you are murderers unless you repent and accept the blood of Yeshua as atonement for your evil transgression. It's not a blob, it's not a tissue, it's not a cell, it's not some gook, it is a human being. Yahweh right. well, said to you, Miaho, before I formed thee, Jeremiah 1, 5, in the belly I knew thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Psalm 139 says, in, 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 the, in the depths of the belly he knew me, I was there, while I, I wonderfully conceived and wonderfully made, I'm wonderfully made. Yahweh wonderfully made us. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, unless the husband dies, the Torah, listen, the, to, listen, the Torah of the adulterous woman cannot be fulfilled. Amen. Israel was divorced. Ephraim, born again Christians, cannot just repent. Neither can Judah just repent. They've got to find the death of the husband who married Israel on Mount Sinai. We covered that last week. Remember? Hello? Yes. And so Yahweh took on flesh, amen, and died for our sins in the person of Yeshua, manifested as Yeshua, and thus the process to remarry the bride of Israel began and, was, and began to take shape. You see? Mm -hmm. Yahweh didn't have a new bride. If Yahweh married a new Gentile church, he's a polygamist or a Mormon, can't be trusted, can't keep covenant, can't be reliable, his word is worthless, he's no good on his word, he is a covenant keeper. He makes brick and he keeps covenant with those who love him for a thousand generations. Amen. So there's no such thing as the, the very concept that the so-called Gentile church, which doesn't exist apart from the historic people of Israel, is the bride of Christ is anti-Semitic, anti-scriptural, anti-biblical, and anti-Torah, and don't you ever forget. When you go, when, they, when those folks go around saying that they're the bride of Yeshua, and they haven't yet made the physical connection that they are part of the physical people of Israel, that is anti-Semitic doctrine. And that's why I know there's a lot of pastors and, and, and churches who love Jews, but they're still anti-Semitic. You can love Israel, and pray for Israel, and pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and still be anti-Semitic. Because the, the, the filth that, that, that is taught is, is that the church is the bride of Yeshua. No, they are not, unless you identify the word ecclesia as the same ecclesia that stood on Mount Sinai some, some 3,500 years ago. Is anyone with me? Yes. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. So you better go back and read Romans 11.1. So, so, so Yahweh is committed to bring the adulterous whore back. That's his plan. That's his goal. That's his vision. That was his ministry. That was his understanding. That was his desire. That was his purpose in sending the Mashiach to find a way to fulfill the Torah so that Israel is not under the Torah. Ooh. Haven't you ever read Rav Shaul's epistles? We're not under the Torah? Of course not. Because Yeshua has come to remove the curse of the violation of the Torah of an adulterous woman that kept us under his condemnation, under his judgment, under his curse. And when the Pauline epistles are read and it says you're not under the law, it's about time you and I smarten up and brighten up and intellectualize up and realize he's not talking about the Mosaic covenant. He's talking about the particular law of an adulterous woman. Are you with me? Amen. Amen, yes. And we learned last week that Yeshua did this. He died, listen, he died fulfilling the role of a jealous what? Husband. He became the bride in his death, pierced, swollen, naked, 
All those things that the adulterous, that the, the law of jealousy required, he fulfilled the law of jealousy, like we learned that last week at the tape, so that we're no longer under the law of jealousy. Isn't that cool? Yes. <laughs> no longer under that law. Isn't that neat? We're no longer under the law of jealousy. And so he became the bride in his death. Can't go into it now. But in his resurrection, he became the new husband because he refused to change brides. His love, his faithfulness, and his covenant forbid him from changing, switching brides. So rather than violate his own Torah and be unfaithful to his eternal bride, turn to your neighbor and say, eternal bride. Eternal. Rather than be unfaithful to his eternal bride, he decided to die himself because he could have killed you, but he didn't kill you, but he should have killed you, and so he didn't want to kill you, so he wanted to remove you from under the Torah of the adulterous woman, so rather than change brides like the church teaches, he decided to put himself out of commission. Now that's love. That's love. Greater love has no man than this, Yohan 15.13 that a man laid down his life for his friend. Israel's the bride. Israel's the son of Yahweh in the first covenant. Israel is the friend of Yahweh. Israel is all these things. Isn't that what a bride's supposed to be? Yeah. A lover, a friend, like a son, like a, you know intimate, intimate relationship. So in his resurrection, okay, he died, and in his resurrection, what happened to Yeshua? He became a new, a new man, didn't he not? He died flesh and blood. He rose flesh and bones. Did he not? Yes. He didn't. What, what happened to his blood? He spilled it on the ground. He spilled it on, Gal, on Golgotha, on the earth. So he, he became the dead husband, which freed him to take back his bride. Only one way that bride can come back. Excuse me. Two ways. Only two ways the Torah of the adulterous woman can be fulfilled. He died to fulfill the Torah of... A jealous husband. He rose from the dead to fulfill Deuteronomy 24, the Torah of an adulterous woman. Two ways that Israel can come back. One, hubby has to muerta. And two, husband can do forgiveness. Pardon. Well, glory to, glory to Yahweh. When he rose, he did both. The husband died. Now he's free to remarry his bride, even though he gave her a get and said, get, 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 go. He died, got the old husband out of the way, but the old husband didn't become a new husband. He became a renewed husband. The first husband was faithful to take him, her back. P.S. Postscript, her sins were forgiven. Thus, she can return to her first husband. What a, what a, what a heavenly father. What a genius. What a genius. What a mean goat. What a mean goat. Giving us all that Torah stuff. The genius of the plan of the, of the Besarot. Genius. Only two ways the bride of Israel can return to Yahweh. He, by covenant, he can't marry another. He's not Joseph Smith. He's not a Mormoni, Baloney, Caroni. Hello? The mafiosos couldn't have ten wives. Yahweh can only have one. Sorry. And he holds us to the same standard that he held himself to. So since he can't get a new wife, he has got to get the old husband dead and the eternal bride forgiven. Through his death, he rises as the new man and yet the same man. It was Yeshua. It wasn't Buddha that rose. Yeshua rose, but really wasn't the same because now he had a glorified, physical, resurrected body. He didn't, he didn't rise in the same body that he went to Golgotha with. Correct, my front row students? Correct. Correct. It's good. It's one more. Oh. My front row student says it's Tov. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, he fulfilled both paths back to the husband. Forgiveness and the death of the husband. What a genius. What a mind. Who has known the mind of Yahweh? Who, who has given him counsel and instructed him first? Have, has anyone ever counseled Yahweh? Did anyone ever give him instruction? <coughs> he found a way to die, to take Israel back, 
without violating the, the Torah of the adulterous woman, and then putting us so that we're no longer under the Torah of the adulterous woman. Okay? All these folks are going to...